Hey y'all, it's your girl Kobe and I'm back with another video and I know it's been like two weeks. Your girl has been gone from YouTube. I have just been busy with life, but I am back making more videos. So yes, thank you all for your love and support. Thank you to all my new subscribers to my channel. Welcome to the Kobe family. I hope that you are enjoying all the content that you see so far. So yes, so moving along, make sure that you follow my page, become a subscriber, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. That is April Kobe on Snapchat and Instagram, as well as my business page, KCO Unlimited on Instagram and Facebook so yes now that we got that out the way let's get into the video so by the title of this video it is basically going to be showing you guys my lip gloss inventory now it's not showing you guys all the lip gloss that I will have available it's just showing you guys the lip gloss that I have available on my site at the moment there are some more colors soon to be coming so I want to jump into actually my lips at the moment I am wearing my gloss and it's a bad representation because this is like my favorite gloss you guys this is called citrine yes it's hard to see because I use this baby but it's a beautiful um, color it's like an iridescent golden color um, I love this gloss I have this on my lips actually all I have is a brown liner and I put this gloss on and I love it this is like one of my favorites this is I want to say if it's not sold out now I have very little left in stock but yes this is citrine i do love her and like i say she is almost gone because i wear her faithfully so yes i'm going to show you guys the lip gloss that i have right now for my business and yes yeah, so let's jump into it so the first gloss i want to show you guys is rose i absolutely love this gloss this a pretty beautiful pink bum bubble gum bumble bubble gum type of gloss it is a sheer type of pink gloss so it's not very pigmented it's not overpowering but it's a beautiful gloss it's great for a topper and it add a little bit of pinkish sheer color to your lips absolutely love this gloss this was my favorite gloss as well as the citrine color but citrine gives more of a clear look so that's why i've been going for it lately i wanted more of a clear look with my liner but nonetheless i love all my glosses so yes this is rose and then moving along we do have another one of my favorites i'm just gonna start with my favorites i guess we have celebration and she's this beautiful deep type of burgundy reddish burgundy maroon it's just a beautiful color it does have some holographic glitter and there it is extremely beautiful beautiful this does come on and as a pair with the color you do see the glitter as well sparkle through now my glitter I do want to point out that is micro fine holographic glitter so you do not get that grittery that grittery I'm making up words if you catch if you follow my videos you know I like to make up words okay but yes so no my my glitter is a micro fine holographic glitter so you don't feel that grit I purchased lip gloss um, from other companies that have glitter in it it's beautiful you want glitter a glitter effect and my lips felt it and that prevented me from wanting to keep wearing the lip gloss because who wants to feel that when they have on lip gloss you don't want to feel that texture so the great thing about my glosses is whatever gloss I do make that has glitter you will not feel that um, as far as the citrine as well and this is citrine next to celebration they both have glitter in there and you do not feel it at all that's what I absolutely love about my gloss now moving along we do have Empress now this color is a beautiful burgundy type of color it is beautiful I absolutely love this color I actually was wearing Empress and then I will put celebration on top for a topper and honey you couldn't tell me I was not feeling myself you have that deep burgundy color and then you have that beautiful type of reddish uh, reddish sheer 
type of gloss on top with a beautiful glitter. That's a great combination. Empress and Celebration is absolutely beautiful. I love these two together. Jumping back, back into Empress, I actually sold out of this gloss like a week after making it. It was just me playing around with some colors and I came with this beautiful color and it's very popular locally and I've sold out of it, I want to say twice and I think this is the last one that I actually have in stock and so I do make more glosses. So yes, I do love that color as well. Another color that I do love is Cherry and this is another color that I was playing around with colors and came up with. She is a beautiful pink color. This is a pigmented color as well. You get full color when you apply this gloss. It's absolutely beautiful. This would be a beautiful gloss to use as an ombre if you want um, a darker outline lip. Add this pop of pink color in the middle. It's a beautiful, beautiful effect. I will show you this gloss next to Rose. Now you see the big difference. Now Rose will give you that beautiful pink sheer gloss effects cherry is coming with some color she is not playing she's a beautiful gloss um that will give you that beautiful ombre effect now i will tell you my go-to thing is a brown lighter liner and whatever color gloss that's my ombre i start with a brown dark liner and i add my gloss in the middle and i am happy so cherry will be a great gloss if you love a good pink and you don't want nothing too bold we do have cherry now Moving along, we have Honey. Absolutely love this gloss. This is going to give you a sheer type of golden look. This is 24K golden color. It will give you that sheer look. Now, you will mostly see specks of gold. It's a beautiful gloss. I have a lot of my customers who wear this gloss, and when I see them, I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful color for your lips, no matter what shade if you have pinker lips you have tinted lips or even darker shade of lips a darker um, lip color this is a beautiful gloss it gives you that great golden um, glitter um, on your lips now moving along from honey we do have trophy now this is like popular it, trophy and empress put them side by side are like I've sold out of these at my job this is where I sell out of most of my glosses at my job and locally because they see them firsthand and they absolutely love them Empress is that dark beautiful purple um, that people do love that go to lippy um, trophy is a beautiful bronze color beautiful beautiful bronze color she is darker than honey obviously and this is them side by side honey and trophy but trophy is my go-to favorite i've had customers who have like two <laughs> of these i do have my glosses in squeeze tubes and in wand tubes and trophy this is trophy in the squeeze and the wand tubes if you can see so yes, the squeeze and the wand tubes. This is tro Trophy. Beautiful, beautiful bronze colors. My customers love that gloss. It is a beautiful gloss. It does add, add beautiful color to your lips. Now the last gloss that I want to show you guys is a gloss called Coco. I do love this gloss. It gives you a light brown. It comes up mostly as a beautiful nude. It's a great just goes to gloss when you just want that gloss effect, that gloss feel, a little bit of shine. I do love this gloss as well. Now there are some glosses that I'm going to bring back. Um, I may or may not bring Coco back. If I do, I would definitely um, darken the color or play around with it more. I definitely do want a brown a deep uh, brown to um, my collection of glosses so I definitely would do that I do want to bring a beautiful deep red which I do have that coming and I want to play with some nudes and some beautiful clear gloss because when I started wearing gloss it was clear the color came years later but there's nothing wrong with a beautiful clear gloss and I want to make a beautiful clear glossy gloss that just what you need a simple just go to and you're out the door so that is my uh, collection of my glosses i'm so proud i do have them in squeeze tubes as well this is celebration and rose they are so beautiful i love my glosses 
and let's see I showed you our trophy so yes so a few other things I want to speak about in this video real quick is a few quick business tips that I did learn along the way I will have more videos along <clears throat> along the line about my journey as I did mention I am going to show you my journey of be being a business owner slash entrepreneur but quick tips that I want to add to this video is just some quick business tips to grow your channel um, now first and foremost I want to say that locally I am doing better than I am doing online which is more common because people online don't know you you're just another person selling them a service and they have to really build a rapport and relationship with you and get to trust and learn you before they start just giving you their money because basically in reality people have to trust you in order to give you their money i work hard for my money i know y'all do too i'm not just gonna give my money to somebody so yes locally i have been doing great like i said i've sold out a lot of my lip glosses and i have did some online orders as well so everything is off to a great start so i've learned some things um and i've dealt with good and bad so i want to give some quick tips um my first few tips will be is my main tip is you be your walking billboard you the 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 most free the only free promotion is you 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 want to walk you want first want to uh purchase things that are eye-catching appealing it that majority of the average would want to purchase so that's number one once you do that you of course want to wear and promote your product so you want to make sure whenever you're going anywhere even a quick trip to the store you don't have to dress up but put on something eye catchy i love my earrings i this is actually from kco unlimited this is our crystal hoop crystal hoop i can't talk crystal hoop earrings um they're actually sold out i am contemplating bringing these back i do love these earrings i can't tell if you can see them good but there's some beautiful crystal hoop crystal hoops that's gonna be a bad word for me um but they have the beautiful uh cuban zirconia diamonds along the entirety of the hoop the oh my goodness along the earring okay along the earring and then of course i do have my beautiful bobby pins i do have my boss and my money side bobby pin because i am a boss and money is my goal so yes i do have that as well off and also my beautiful tennis chain and my beautiful cross pendant now granted i do not wear all of this every day as i'm walking out to the store i my go-to earrings are my crystal earrings because i love these earrings and i love mostly silver oh also and my watch and this is our beautiful casey watch so um i mostly just wear my crystal hoop my crystal earrings and my watch and I do get um actually have opened the door to handing out business card based upon what I'm wearing so that's definitely one thing you do want to be a promotion for your business another thing is obviously business cards whenever you do sell a gloss you definitely do want to have business cards because when a person buys from you that's another potential sale because they know people and people forget who they buy from or they may not forget it's from you they may forget the name of your company and things of that nature so you definitely want a business card I honestly when I do give out business cards to customers when I first started I've been giving out like two that way my customer has their own and then if they do see a person their family member or a friend who has questions instead of them trying to remember or whatever the case may be they can just hand it over and they have extra business cards to give out to someone so that's another thing as well as business cards definitely help you grow Another thing that really helped me grow, um, and this is on my Facebook page because I have Facebook and an Instagram business page, on my Facebook page, what definitely helped me grow was a giveaway. I don't really remember. Okay, I was under 200 because the giveaway was once I reached 200 followers. And I want to say within a day, I had reached that end sum. I believe I was at 120, 130, and it was honestly just slow on my Instagram page, well, my Facebook page, Instagram would get to that. It was just slow, and I just wanted to like get people, a lot more people to see like my lip glosses and my other products, my handbags, my jewelry, things of that nature. So I'm like, okay, a giveaway. 
So I was like 60 away. I put a post on my, my Facebook business page about the giveaway. And I think within that night, I hit my 200 followers. So like that night I had to think about, okay, what I want to put in the giveaway. So it was actually great. I had a great um, time with that giveaway. It was an awesome turnout. I had quite a few shares. So it was, it was, uh, it was very fun. I did enjoy that. And I want to say um, it's been, it was in last week. No, it's been this is the second week and I'm at almost 500 followers um, from Facebook and I haven't did any much more promotion I do still post on that page obviously post my content you definitely want to do that but I haven't did any more giveaways and I'm constantly still trickling in followers every day consistently so that is definitely great giveaways do help a lot now switching to Instagram what I will say that has helped because I'm not gonna lie it has been a struggle to build my Instagram page why I do not know but it has been a struggle is I want to say just within a day I've been stuck at 220 followers for like a month now and um, they always say hashtags but what I will say definitely the first thing first and foremost is great content when I first started obviously when you first starting a page it's blank it's an empty template and there's nothing really eye-catching so when you first start of course you're following people they're not going to follow back because they're going to come to your page first see who is this following me and they see a bunch of really nothing so it was very hard in the beginning now that I have um, changed up my look uh, to my page um, got more of a, a, a more aesthetic pleasing aesthetically pleasing look to my page I have started back following people because I was a depending on basically just hashtags and I'm gonna be honest hashtags do help and I'll get into that but it's not your end-all be-all so I started back just like two days ago following people and I'm over 300 followers just I'm over 300 followers so I've gained a hundred and something followers just by following a few people and it's still trickling in um, so now that I had the great content, I started back following because I was relying on just hashtags and it wasn't really getting me too much of anywhere. It might have gotten me some likes, but not really followers. And even though followers don't always guarantee income, it is a percentage of income because obviously they like what they are seeing for them to follow. So I will say that I did start following some people. I will go to certain pages or hit certain hashtags, see what people are looking for. And I will follow people for that particular um type of you know i would follow for what i'm selling or per, co compared to what they're looking for i don't go overboard you don't, definitely don't want to go overboard but i do follow a little bit just to get it started and honestly since i've been doing that i've stopped i haven't followed people who i don't even follow have started to follow me so i don't know what it is with instagram i really do do think the, and also the more followers you have the more that your posts are going to get out there more so all of it works together honestly all works together if you have like a hundred something followers and if you have a great video an awesome bomb video if you don't have a lot of people looking at a video if it already doesn't get a lot of views a lot of traffic to that video it's not going to be out there it's not going to be put out there as much even when you have the best hashtags there are to have so definitely getting your followers um, clientele up i'm still working on that building my instagram so i can just say definitely following and great hashtags now i'm not going to follow forever and forever i'll probably follow people um few people here and there for like another week and then i'm just going to stop because i don't want to oversaturate my business page when i go to it i don't want to be on my news feeds seeing a whole bunch of stuff that i don't want to see when i get on my business instagram i want to get to business i want to keep personal personal and business business so that's the thing too when you follow a lot of people it kind of oversaturates your page and things of that nature so that also jumping into hashtags i know it's all over the place not really structured because i didn't really write down what i wanted to say as far as business business tips but I had it in my head hashtags I know when I watch YouTube videos people say hashtags they are a great help I would not earlier I did say they're not the end all to be all they're not but they are a great help I will say do not pick oversaturated hashtags and honestly people who I watch and who give me business tips I go to their Instagram pages and they give the same tips oversaturated hashtags and they like use hashtags as has like 300k 400k tags and it's like i found some that's the same you know type of subject with less like me personally my trick and tip that i've used you want to use hashtags 
I'm not saying you don't want to use hashtag that has 100K, 200K, because if you go to my business page, you're going to find some of my hashtags that has that. But for the most part, you're going to find my hashtags that have 5,000, a little bit over 1,000, 10K, 12K hashtags because, yes, it has the least amount of, of hashtags, but that's not showing you how many views that hashtag gets that's the thing like you don't want to use viral you don't want to use explore page on instagram because let's get it the explore page has millions i don't even know how many millions of hashtags is on the explore page hashtag i don't even know how many hashtags the explore page hashtag has but i know it's millions so of course if you hit that if you put that hashtag in the caption i highly doubt you're going to be seen based upon that hashtag but there's a hashtag called explore page ready, explore pages. Also for my accessories, I do, um, there's hashtag hair accessories. That has a lot of tags already. I found one that could be hair accessory ATL that may have less tags, but it may have more people who can see your picture. So definitely with the hashtags, just watch, start your own. Every business, if you have a business, start your own hashtag. Mine is my business. My business, every picture I post on my business pages, no matter where it's at, I put my business as a hashtag. Start your own hashtag, definitely. But when you are a business like lip gloss, don't use all the lip gloss tags everybody's using. Start your own lip gloss tag. Um, small business small business there's tags like that they're oversaturated people are spelling words wrong you have to be creative i can't give you all the tips with hashtags all i will do is say i would not go for all the ha the hashtags that are oversaturated to me if it has 100k i'm not looking for that one i personally want hashtags that's 30k and under that's for me personally because think about it there's no way you're going to go through if you why would you want a hashtag that has over 100k you're not even going to see oh and a, a one percent of all those 100k photos if you click that hashtag and you're looking for something so you have to think about it like that too in a sense so just definitely be careful um with the hashtags that you use and any other business tips oh definitely post of course post 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 not don't go crazy i'm not trying to get on fashion nova's level i mean i'm not knocking their promotion because obviously it, it's been tested to work it does work i don't have enough content i don't have the money to post like they post but when you're starting out i would say at least two to three times a day definitely google um or figure out your peak times Google will tell you a peak time. Everybody is different. You don't have the same. Everyone does not have the same followers. So there's no way everyone can have the same peak time because everyone does not do the same thing. So you definitely want to kind of see, test it out and see when you get the most traffic on your page, what time works best for you. That's when your followers are more active. Post at those times and great content. Like I stated in a prior video, I changed my uh, a look to my page, my aesthetic look to my page it looks uh, awesome it looks so much better and i'm not even knocking my old page but i love how my new page looks it is absolutely beautiful so definitely beautiful beautiful great quality videos great quality photos you just definitely want to work on that focus on that be creative don't just post a picture of your lip gloss and make it bomb like post the swatch post you mixing it like you have to be creative it's not all about oh i want to sell lip gloss and here's my lip gloss no it's hard work it's dedication it's input and so it's not easy but i'm not going to turn this video into all about business tips i just want to give a few business tips at the end of this video there's always more we're definitely always learning every day um if you do want another business tip video i think i did a beginner video like things you should know before starting a business if you are interested, y'all, give me some feedback. Give me some feedback of what videos you're looking for. But if that's the video you are interested in and you are curious to hear what I got to say, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do that and make that video for you. But yes, guys, that is the end of this video. I want to show you guys my lip gloss and there's more to come. So yes, support your girl. Shop with your girl. It's kcounlimited.com. It's my website and the name to my business pages. So thank you all for your love and support and I catch you in the next video. Bye.